Good morning, everyone. This is Sister Candice. My devotional today is Heed His Voice. Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings. Be instructed, ye judges of the earth. When the voice of the Lord is in, is in our world today, I'll start over. Where is the voice of God in our world today? In past times, God's people were inter- in- listened to, and influence of their faithful was amazing. Why isn't that true today? <clears throat> Many today may think we're too bright for that religious stuff now. That's sad. We're too advanced. That's sad. What could be further from the truth? That's an amen. Without the counsel of God, everything is ignorance. Everything is ignorance without the counsel of God. Amen. In trying to deal with our problems apart from God, we are creating more problems than we can handle. Amen. The answer is not in running from the Lord, but running to Him. In our lives, we need to learn to let the Lord rule. Giving God control of our lives is not a sign of weakness but is the greatest show of strength we will ever make. Under the guidance of God, we become conquerors in the world that tries hard to break us down. That's so true because our world's just getting worse and worse. And y'all, I'm sorry for my throat. I'm still sick. Got allergies. They're draining. Um, But the title was Take Heed, and it was out of Psalms 2, verse 10. I didn't even say that, I don't think. Um, In the world we're living in today, people think, you know, they don't even need to hold their Bible. They can just look at it, you know, on the the Internet. And there's nothing wrong with looking up Scripture. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about when we hold the living Word of God, our King James Bible, you're holding the Word of God, which is alive. And I want to hold it in my hand. I want to look at it with my eyes. I want to hold it in my hand. Because one day we may not have that privilege. Listen to me, Christians. One day we may not have that privilege. And the way the world's going. And that's why I always, always try to remind y'all to read this chapter. It's not long. It's a. It's like 12 verses. But hide God's word in your heart. Hide it in your memory. We need to be doing that more and more and more every day. But, you know, we have to take heed to what God tells us. We have to be prayed up. We have to read our Bibles and study and know that we are right with God. Let me say that again. Know that we are right with God. And I said this before, and I'll say it a thousand times over. I'll never be ashamed to say the Lord's name on my channel. I will always say it. And I'm not ashamed of what God sent his only begotten son to do for me in my life. And that was to save me from a devil's hell. And that's what he did. Because I am born again. I'm saved. I'm on my way to heaven. And the devil is a liar. God is alive and the devil is a liar. The devil is a liar, y'all. And he seeks whom he may devour. And you know, we have to resist the devil. And if we resist the devil, the Bible tells us he will flee. And I have to resist him and I have to rebuke him all the time. And if you're not having to rebuke the devil, there's something wrong. Because he only bothers the ones that's not his. He bothers us born-again believers, and he attacks us. And that's all. That's the way it's going to always be. But, you know, I stand firm in my belief. I stand firm in the Lord Jesus Christ. And I stand firm in what my channel is about. And I've said this from the beginning, it's not for everybody. But it, my, my channel is based around the Lord and my walk in my grief. And that's why my, 
my title, the Lord changed the name of my channel from the pastor's wife, Candace, the pastor's wife, to growing in grace. And that's what I'm doing. I'm growing in grace. I'm walking with the Lord. I'm praying and trusting and clinging on to my Lord and Savior with everything I got. Because it gets lonely, y'all. And all I have to do is call on my Lord and He's there. And I know that. I love y'all. I pray you have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed week. Lord, I love you. I thank you for first loving me, God. Be with all the ones on the prayer list, God. You know every each and every need. Lord, from the lost all the way to the last person in the on the list. God, oh God, most of all, save the lost, Lord, before it's too late. Lord, I love you. I thank you for first loving me, Lord. Thank you, God, that I'm feeling some better today, Lord. I know it's by your grace, Lord. And your mercy, Lord, that I'm even up today, God, and blessed to see another day, Lord. It's nothing in ourselves, Lord. It's all you, Lord, and I thank you and praise you for that. Now, thank you for my YouTube family. Thank you for the ones that watch faithfully and support me and pray for me, God. I can't thank you enough for the ones that are praying. Lord, I love them. I pray, Lord, that they know I love them. Now, give us a good day, and we'll thank you and praise you for all you do. In your precious and holy name I pray. Amen. I love y'all, but remember the Lord loves you more.